Today we're installing a Madjax light kit designed for a G22. Included in the light kit is an ultimate upgrade kit. Within the box you'll find a new ultimate upgrade harness, the turn signal indicator, column cover, a horn, and a brake pad. You'll also receive a left and a right front and rear headlights and paper instructions. To do this, we're going to use a 9 16 wrench, marking pin, a 7 16 drill bit, a number two Phillips tip, cordless drills, a cutting tool, and safety equipment. Before we begin installing our light kit, we're going to go over the new upgrade harness. You'll notice on each end of the harness you have a red and a white three pin connector that goes to your headlights and taillights. The red one will go to the passenger side, headlight and taillight. A little further down from that, you'll notice a purple and black female spade connector. This will go to your new horn for your upgrade. Down from the horn, you'll have a nine pin connector. This attaches to the turn signal assembly. Down from the nine pin connector, you'll notice your hazard switch. This has a red and a blue wire. A little further down from that, you'll see orange, black, and yellow wire. These go to your brake pad. Next, you'll see the battery terminals. These hook up the light kit to the battery. And then the last thing on your upgrade harness is the passenger and tail light, three pin connectors. Again, the red goes to the passenger. It's a lot longer as well. And that's it. Now that you're familiar with the harness, we're gonna install it under the cart. First step we're gonna do in installing our light kits is feed your harness down through the battery well. You want to make sure that your harness stays up above the frame so it doesn't snag. We will secure it when we're done installing the light kit. Now that we have our harness run, we're going to install our lights. The light kit comes with a template. This is the passenger side or the right side. We have it taped off. We're going to take a marking pin and trace a line on the inside of our template. Be sure to retain your template. We're going to flip it over and use it on the driver's side. Now we're going to use our safety goggles. We're going to pre-drill out a hole and then cut it out with our cutting tool. When cutting the hole out for your headlight, be sure to go to the inside of your marking line. You can always come back and take a little extra if needed. Now we're going to repeat this process on the driver's side. Now that we have our hole cleaned up and our light bezel fits, we're going to attach our headlight to our harness. We're going to install the passenger side first, that's the red three pin, and attach it to the cowl using the screws provided in your kit. We're going to repeat this step on the driver's side. Now that we have our front headlights attached, we're going to move on to the rear. You'll notice we've already attached our template, which is included in your kit to the driver's side of the cart. We're gonna take our marking pin again and trace out the inside of the template. Be sure to cut to the inside of your line and take off as you need it. Use our safety glasses again, drill a pilot hole. Be sure to retain your template. We're going to repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that we have our holes cut out, we're going to attach our rear tail lights uh, on the driver's side. So you'll notice the white pin. Now we're going to repeat this step on the passenger side, and then we're going to install our switch. First thing we're going to do is remove our cup holder. Now we're going to take a tape measure and we're going to mark our center point on our cart on the driver's side of the column. You can put it wherever you want, but this is where we're going to put it on this particular cart. Now we have our mark. We're going to take our 7 16 drill bit and drill through our dash. 
unscrew our knob. As you can see, we've removed one nut from our switch. Now we're gonna feed our switch through the hole. And using the nut that we unscrewed, we're gonna tighten our switch up. Reattach our knob. Now that we have our switch in place, we're gonna attach our turn signal assembly. To do this, we're gonna loosen the screws up on the back of the assembly. This is gonna fit over the column, and then we're gonna tighten it. And then our turn signal cover goes over the back of that. You can be the judge on how high or low up the column you want to put your turn signal assembly. Now you're going to attach the back of your turn signal. Then you're going to take your column cover. You're going to run your harness from your turn signal in this channel and this snaps over your column. Now that you have your column cover installed, you want to run your harness in through your dash. You can take this trim ring around your column, cut a notch in it, and feed it back through. Now the turn signal indicator is installed, you want to feed the red and blue wire from your harness up through your dash. Now you're going to plug the purple wire from your indicator harness into the red wire. The blue wire will not be used. And the two yellow wires will now plug into your push-pull switch, which is now a hazard light. The 9-pin female connector will feed down through the dash and plug into the 9-pin male connector on the harness. Once you have all this done, you can reinstall your cup holders, and we're going to install the horn next. Now we're ready to install our horn. You'll notice the back of the horn has two mounting brackets. You want to mount your horn under the front cowl in a safe location. There's also a purple and black wire from your harness. This plugs into the back of your horn. It does not matter which wire goes to which spade connector. Now that we have our horn attached, we're going to install our brake pad. You'll notice we pulled the orange, yellow, and black wire up through the bottom of the floor. And we're going to plug that in to our brake pad, the two bullet connectors. The black spade connector is not used. Now to attach our brake pad on this metal brake, we're going to take a black marker and mark our holes out and pre-drill our holes for our hardware. Now that our brake pad's attached and our brake pad harness is secured with zip ties, we can attach our light kit to our battery pack. First thing you want to do is switch your card into tow. Now if you have 12 volt batteries, you need to use a multimeter to find one single 12 volt battery and attach your light kit to that. If you have an 8 volt system like we have here, continue watching on how to install a reducer to your 16 volt battery hookups. This will drop it down to 12 volts and it won't burn your lights out as quick. Now that you have your light kit attached to your battery pack, you're finished installing your Majax Ultimate Light Kit designed for a Yamaha G22.